Next are anti-tubercular drugs. These are the first line anti-tubercular drugs, HRZES. Isoniazid, rifampicin, pyrazinamide, ethambutol, and streptomycin. Isoniazid is written in short as INH. Okay. Now the three main side effects of isoniazid are insanity, neuritis, and hepatitis. We talked about isoniazid in phase two bio transformation reaction. You remember in acetylation, right? And the drugs which were excreted by acetylation were SHIP, SHIP, sulfonamide, hydralazine, isoniazid, and procainamide. Of that, one of was isoniazid. Now, those patients who are slow acetylators, neuritis is more common in them, and this is due to pyridoxine deficiency. And those who are fast acetylators, hepatitis is more common in them. The main side effect of rifampicin is it will cause red colored urine. And you remember we talked about rifampicin and enzyme inducer Priyanka Chopra BRA. R was rifampicin. It is enzyme inducer. And here lies the clinical importance. If a lady is taking oral contraceptive pills and you start her on AKT treatment, that is anti-tubercular treatment, rifampicin will induce the metabolism for oral contraceptive pills and she might get pregnant. So ask her to use condom too, right? Main side effect of ethambutol is eye defect and streptomycin is teratogenic so avoid this in pregnancy streptomycin is an aminoglycoside and main side effects of aminoglycosides are autotoxicity nephrotoxicity and neuromuscular blockade so the child may be born deaf or with some problems in kidney right so what happens in slow acetylators peripheral neuropathy hepatotoxicity happens in fast acetylators and this is due to pyridoxine deficiency the peripheral neuropathy Orange colored urine is due to rifampicin, right? Three year old pregnant lady, please do not give her streptomycin. Aminoglycosides cause all of the following except cardiotoxicity is not the side effect of aminoglycoside. Next is the treatment of leprosy. There are two forms of leprosy, multibacillary leprosy and posibacillary leprosy. Posibacillary leprosy has treatment for six months and multibacillary has treatment for 12 months. In that rifampicin is given every month under supervision. Dapson has to be taken by patient daily. And clofazimin, a higher dose of 300 mg is given under supervision and 50 mg has to be taken by patient every day. Right? So rifampicin and clofazimin are given once a month under supervision. So which of the following is not an antifungal agent, clofazimin is used in leprosy. These are topical antifungal agent, cyclopiroxoramine and anticyanic acid. Now this question says which drug is not given under supervision. Dot therapy of anti-tubercular treatment right, is always under supervision. That means all the anti-tubercular drugs are under supervision and in leprosy, Clofazimin and rifampicin are given once a month under supervision. Dapson has to be taken daily by patient 100 mg. Now in this question, which are the drugs which are contraindicated in G6PD deficiency? The SNP drugs. All these sulfa derivatives like sulfonamides and Dapson. Dapson is also sulfa derivatives. Septran. Septran is cotrimoxazole, right? Nitrofurantoin is an urinary antiseptic and nalidixic acid is an older fluoroquinolone. All the inducers, PCBRAs, right, and all the quins, primaquin, chloroquine, these drugs are contraindicated in G6PD deficiency. Otherwise, patient will have dark colored urine in one day. All of the following drugs are contraindicated in G6PD deficiency except ceftriaxone. These are contraindicated.